Uh, my name is Bradford Loomis. I'm Beth Whitney. And uh, tonight we are playing as a three-piece, uh, the two of us, and then Beth's husband, Aaron uh, Fishburne, will be playing upright bass. I have a record, and then Beth has her own records as well, and we've kind of teamed up together to do this uh, this new record that we're putting out called Vander Days. I am yours, beloved. I had heard about Beth. We both live in Snohomish, and I had heard about her releasing a new record um, like last year, year and a half ago. And I kept hearing about Beth Whitney, Beth Whitney, and I was not sure how, because I was born and raised in Marysville, so I've always been kind of right around Snohomish area. So I was thinking, how have I never heard of this girl before? <laughs> Um, so I looked up some of her music and was blown away. And so I wanted to see, um, you know, because I was hearing all this stuff. So I put together a show and asked her if she'd come play at it. And I wanted to see, like, you know, what type of, how she performed and that sort of thing. And um, she came and played, and I was really struck with, uh, she's really funny and very uh, personable and very endearing great performer uh, on top of being a fantastic songwriter um, and so it was um, I met her and her husband in person at this show and then we just kind of knew that they were going to be people I could really work with and so I asked them if they would join my band because I was releasing a record uh, last May and they did the hilarious thing for me is <laughs> she both her and her husband agreed to do this little tour, this little three-show uh, kind of mini tour. <clears throat> and she's like a week away from her. She was pregnant. She's about to have a baby. A week away from her due date. So she's... We kind of we kind of gambled on <laughs> hopefully she doesn't have the baby. Like, you know, that would I would lose my whole band. <laughs> like right then, yeah. yeah. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we released the record, did a little mini tour, and a week later... And the baby. And the baby. just finished uh, recording and mix well we're in the middle of mixing an album that we've put together um, we we headed down there with I think about 10 10 songs um, yeah, 10 or 11 10 or 11 songs and then yeah and then kind of pared them down to our favorites um, put some on the back burner yeah and favorite seven favorite seven I have this weird thing where I can't I could. I don't think I could ever have an album with eight songs or six songs. 
It's got to be an uneven number. It has to be an uneven number, and it should be seven. <laughs> you got your your family is interesting. Or eleven with numbers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, right now it's getting mixed. We keep getting mixes um, in our email inboxes, and it's it's like Christmas. Yeah. Um, so we uh, right now we're um, looking forward booking our release shows and some tours to. Uh, to get it out there, to get it out to the world. We did a whole um, Kickstarter campaign, so we have yeah. two different PR campaigns. So we'll do a radio campaign and then the big PR push uh, with radio and, and um, TV and print and all that jazz. So it's going to be a pretty busy summer for us, but we're really excited about the record and, and uh, mm -hmm. kind of where things have gone and had some really amazing musicians working on it with us. Um, a guy named Brandon B and our engineer was uh, Todd Robinson or Todd Robbins, excuse me, who's out of uh, Nashville. And uh, yeah, I could not be more pleased with yeah. where the record's at, and it's working on getting the final. As soon as we have a record in our hands, we'll be able to kind of map out the uh, the whole because we want to give it at least three months. So right now it's looking probably the, the end of July. Um, but the best way to uh, to find out is. Um, either Brad Loomis Music, or excuse me, Bradford Loomis <laughs> dot com. I don't even know my own website, and Beth Whitney Music dot com, um, and then that way we'll uh, we'll be able to let everybody know when the record's coming out.